Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to restore deleted points in Field Genius. So I recently had a customer who called up and asked uh, how he could restore all of the points that he had accidentally just deleted. The guy had deleted his entire job. So what we did was we found a method to do this, and I figured it would be a good one to share with all of you, because maybe you accidentally delete a single point that you want to restore, and that point was critical. Um, I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way that you can restore it to your job. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm just going to open up Field Genius in a project. You can see I've got kind of four points laid out willy-nilly here, and I'm going to open up my point database and delete all of these points. So I'm just going to hit yes, and then if I go to the map screen, you can see there are no points. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find my raw file. So the raw file basically just keeps track of everything that I've done in Field Genius. So you can see here, here's the raw file for Field Genius, and you can see, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that there's four points here. They all say DP and then a, uh, a point number and a point ID. And those are the four points that I deleted. That DP is the command in Field Genius for deleting a point. So in order to restore these points to Field Genius, all I have to do is delete those commands from my raw file. So I'm going to delete those in Notepad here, and then I'm going to save my raw file as another raw file from Notepad. So I'm just going to save as, and I'm going to rename it here job, um, it was job three, so I'm going to call it job three restore, and then save it in the same folder. And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to head back to Field Genius here, hit the plumb bob, my project manager, and then I'm going to create a new project. Okay, so I got my new project window here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this project a name. Let's call it Restore Deleted. And then in my project settings window here, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to click Project Files, and then you can see here that the active raw file is selected as Restore Deleted Raw. That's the raw file for the job I'm currently in. But I don't want to use that as my active raw file. I actually want to use the raw file from the job that I just created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the three dots there next to um, the copy existing thing. I'm going to check copy existing, hit the three dots, and then I'm going to want to choose the raw file from the job that I just had. So that job that you can see here that I got this job three restore dot raw file. That was the one I edited earlier that I showed you how to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that file now. And you can see now that I have copy existing job three restore dot raw selected there instead of my active raw file. And I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to say generate new points from the database. And do you want to overwrite points? I'm going to hit yes and yes. And then I'm going to hit OK here. OK. And then when I go back to my map screen, you can see those four points that I had previously deleted in the last job have now reappeared. So I'm good to go again. All my job, all those points have been properly restored and I can begin to survey again as if nothing happened. And that is all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or you have any questions about anything you've seen on our YouTube channel or website, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.